Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to Marvish Cuisine. Today I'm sharing another family recipe. I am sharing some daily wala delicacy. I'm making shabdeg. It's a combination of thick gravy with some meatballs, meat and carrots. And it's usually served um, on a big party or even on a wedding reception as well. And it's my aunt's, my papa's recipe. And um, when I was trying this recipe, I thought, why not I share this recipe with you guys? So that's what I'm doing today. Let's go and make it happen. So let's start our recipe with Bismillah. First, we're gonna make our meatball. For that, I am taking grounded beef and transferring onto a food processor. Then I'll add some onions, green chilies, and some cilantro. Then I'll add some ginger and garlic. Uh, I already had the pre-minced uh, garlic which I did for my masala. So I'm adding that. You can add a whole clove or paste as well. Then I'm adding, uh, now I'm adding some yogurt, salt, garam masala powder and nutmeg and mace powder. Now I'll start uh, mixing uh, and, uh, or start a food processor and mix until everything is fully combined and you have a nicely minced mixture. Transfer that onto a bowl. Then I have another bowl filled with water. Uh, it's just to wet my hands and then I'll start making meatballs. Uh, water will uh, help make a smooth be meatball. That's what we want. And then I um, use the rest of the meat mixture and make the meatballs. Then I'll cover and put them on the side until we go and start our masala. For that, I'm heating up some oil in a cooking pot. Then I add some sliced onions and fry the onions until they turn nice golden color like we usually uh, do for our regular salad then i'll take all these fried onions out and we'll add them in, into our gravy later on i am and transfer the onions onto a strainer so all the excess oil drip off but i left a little bit of onion in the pot which will help me make uh, the masala now adding some uh, garlic and ginger i'll add some salt red chili powder and coriander powder mix everything well and then we'll add a little bit of water as well because i don't want our masalas to get burned and now we we'll start cooking on um, to a slow flame covered until all the rawness of the masalas are gone and oil separates and comes on top i uh, i just put the hand blender in there so if there's any big chunks of um, garlic and onion so they will get blended and we'll have a smooth gravy. Now I'll add the, uh, the pre-made meatballs and uh, just mix the meatballs. Uh, I already shared this tip before that don't use any spoon while you mix the meatballs. They will get baked easily. So I just tilt the pot and then cover and let them cook for a good 10-15 uh, minutes until meatballs are... Uh, they change their color from top. Then I'm adding some meat. Now meat is optional for shabdeg. But uh, since I'm um, sharing the authentic recipe, so I thought to add the meat in there. I'm using veal today, but you can add goat or beef as well. So when your meat is cooked through and almost done, now I'm adding some carrots in there. We don't want our carrots to overcook, so they get mushy. Uh, and I cut my carrots into big round chunks. So now our task is to mix everything and let them cook completely. If you think carrots are uh, uh, getting done before your meat, so you can take them out. Now you remember we just fried the onion, so transfer that fried onion into a blender a jug and with some yogurt. Now I will temper this mixture, by that I mean that I'll add the, instead of water, I'll add the cooked masala gravy mixture into this yogurt. It will bring the temperature of the yogurt and onion mixture to same as our masala mixture. So when you add the yogurt in there, it won't curdle like we usually get complaints that you add the yogurt in there and it get curdled and you got little uh, spots of yogurt in your gravy which doesn't look nice. Now I'm adding some, now I'm just mixing the yogurt and onion mixture with the gravy. If you want, you can add a little bit of water in there but just be careful when you start cooking yogurt, it will release its own water as well. Now I, I covered it again and cook it until yogurt is... Um, release this water and everything is fully cooked you can see the consistency here it should not be very runny and it should be like um, the korma in the end we just add some garam masala on top with and a little bit of nutmeg and maize powder in the gravy uh, and uh, when we serve we add some chopped cilantro and sliced ginger on top with a little bit of more garam masala and chapdeg is ready to serve you can serve it with some naan or even daftan as well um, the sweetness of the carrot will balance out with the tartness of yogurt and onion 
and it's a complete meme as i already mentioned it usually is served on our wedding receptions as well and it's an authentic daily wala recipe i've heard people add turnip in shabdeg as well which our family doesn't so i have an add in there and if you like this recipe or if you're trying this at home please let me know how it turned out with you if you want to learn something else let me know leave me a comment down below and i will try my best to make it happen for you guys once again thank you so much for watching and if you like this recipe don't forget to click on the links to enjoy a lot more recipes like this